Today we like to consider simultaneous equations. Let's consider this very example. Solve the following simultaneous equations given your answers for both x and y in the form a plus b root 3 where a and b are integers. So here we've been given 2x plus y equal to 9 root 3x plus 2y equal to 5. Wow, that's a nice question. You can try it. Yourself support the video, try it and then later you compare the answer with what I'll get. So we have the first equation that is 2x plus y equal to 9. Let's say this is equation 1. And then we have root 3x plus 2y. And this is equal to 5. Let's say this is equation 2. Now, from 1, what can we do? We can decide either to make x the subject or y the subject. So clearly, from 1, let's make one variable the subject. Let's make y the subject. Clearly, y is equal to 9 minus 2x. This is moving there. Positive moving becoming negative. So this is equation 3. So we substitute or we put 3 into... 2. Why? We have 3 from 1. So you substitute into 2. As we had the 3 from 2, then you substitute into 1. But then here, the 3 we had it from um, 1. So we make, that is, we substitute it into 2. Now, x and y, which of the variables do we make the subject? Clearly, you see, you want to make x the subject, you get 9 minus y over 2. That would be quite complex. So making y the subject is better. So we are putting 3 into 2, and this implies we have root 3x, 2y. What is our y? Our y is 9 minus 2x, and this is equal to 5. Let's expand this using the distributive property. So we have root 3x plus 18 minus 4x equal to 5. Clearly, what do you have? Let's group like terms. We have root 3 x minus 4x equal to 5 minus 18. This is moving there. Now, clearly, what can we see? x, x, so we can factorize x out. So, you have root 3 minus 4. Let's bring the x out. Now, 5 minus 18, that is negative 13. So, what is our x equal to? Our x is equal to negative 13 all over. That is root 3 minus 4. Now, the question says we have to put it in the form a plus b root 3. So, we can leave our answer in this way. What do we do? We have to rationalize it. So, we have our x to be equal to negative 13 all over root 3 minus 4. Now, what do we do? We multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So, we have root 3 plus 4 all over root 3 plus 4. Now let's see all these denominator changes to difference of 2 squared. So this is just giving us that is negative 13 we have root 3 plus 4 all over that is root 3 square minus 4 square. That is this time this difference of 2 squares. Now this is just equal to negative 30 we have root 3 plus 4 all over this will give us 3 minus 16 that is root 3 all square that is 3 4 square we have 16 and this is just negative 13 root 3 plus 4 now what do you have here 3 minus 13 that is 3 minus 16 that's negative 13 this need to cancel this 30 will cancel that so our answer is just root 3 plus 4. Now the question says it should be in the form a plus b root 3. So this is the same as 4 plus root 3. That is x. We have to find y. So we put x to be equal to 4 plus root 3 into 3 for y. Into 3 for y. So clearly our y is equal to we have 9 minus 2 x. But what is our x? That is 4 plus root 3. And this is 9 minus, in this time this, minus 2 root 3. Now what is 9 minus 8? 9 minus 8 is 1. 
minus two, root three. So this is y. So this is our y, and then this is also the value of x. Very, very easy, very, very trivial. Now let's consider this example. This is SSC 2000 question 12b. Solve the simultaneous equation 4x plus 3y equal to 1, 4x squared plus 3xy plus y squared equal to 12. Now pause the video, solve it, and see if you get the answers. Later you compare the answers with what I will get. So pause it. Try it yourself. Now clearly 4x plus 3y, let's say this is equation 1 and then this is equation 2. Let's use substitution method. Let's make x the subject from equation 1 substitute into the other equation. So clearly from 1, you want to make x the subject. Clearly 4x is equal to 1 minus 3. This positive going becoming negative. We want x to so divide through by 4. So this is cancelling now that, so x is 1 minus 3y over 4. Let's see, this is equation 3. So what do we do? We put, we put or we substitute that is 3 into, into 2. We put 3 into 2. So wherever we see x, what are you supposed to put? The 1 minus 3y over 4. So into this we have 4. What is our x? That is 1 minus 3y over 4. And this is square plus 3xy. So plus 3xy. What is our x? Our x is 1 minus 3y all over 4. That is 4xy. What do you have here? y. 3xy. 3xy. Then plus y square. And this is equal to 2. Now, we know from indices, if you have A over B all to the power N, this is A N B N. So we apply this over there. So we have 4. And then this is 1 minus 3Y all square, all over 4 square. Plus here, this and this, this is giving us 3Y. And then we have, that is 1 minus 3y over 4 plus y squared equal to 2. Now what can we see? 4 counts one of this in this base that is the same, so you can subtract. So this is giving us, now expanding the um, numerator. We know if you have a minus b all to the power 2, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. But then first, let's cancel this one out. So we have 1 minus 3y all square all over 4. This will be 16. 4 going 16. That is 4 times. Then plus we have 3y. 1 minus 3y all over 4 plus y square equal to 2. What is the LCM? The LCM is 4. So let's multiply it with 4. So this times 4. So that is 4 times 1 minus 3y square over 4. Plus 4 times we have 3y, 1 minus 3y over 4, plus that is 4 times y squared equal to 4 times 2. Now this is cancelling out that, this is cancelling out that. So we have uh, 1 minus 3y all square minus 3, that is plus 3y, 1 minus 3y plus 4y square equal to 8. Now let's expand this. a plus b to the power 2, a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b to the power 2, a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this becomes a square minus 2ab and then plus b square. Now let's expand this using the distributive property is give us 3y minus 9y squared. 3y times 1, 3y, 3, y times 3y, negative 9y squared, plus 4y squared equal to 8. And this is giving us, that's 1 minus 6y plus 9y squared. You know, if you have a, b, if you have a, b to the power n, this is a, n, d, n. And then we have plus 3y minus 9y squared 
plus 4y square this is just equal to 8. Now what can we see this is cancelling out that and then what do you have 1 negative 6y plus 3y that's negative 3y plus 4y square equal to 8. We are getting a quadratic equation so let's put it in standard quadratic equation form so we have 4y square minus 3y plus 1 minus 8 equals 0 positive crossing to the left hand side becoming negative so clearly what do you have 4y square minus 3y minus 7 equals 0 4 7 that is um, negative 28 so two numbers when you multiply you get negative 28 but then when you add you are getting negative um, 3 so clearly we have 4 y square minus 7 y plus 4 y minus 7 equal to 0 what is common y is common so 4 y minus 7 plus 1 4 y minus 7 this is just equal to 0 so you have 4 y minus 7 y plus 1 equal to 0 using the now factor principle 4y minus 7 equals 0 or y plus 1 equals 0 clearly y is 7 over 4 or y is equal to negative 1 now we want to find x so clearly we put or uh, when y is 7 over 4 what is our x let's put it into equation 3 what is our x clearly x is what 1 minus 3y all over 4 so you have that is 1 minus 3y but what is our y 7 over 4 all over 4 and what is this giving us clearly this would give us that is negative 17 all over 16 and when y is negative 1 x is you know x is what 1 minus 3y what is our y negative 1 and then all over 4 what do you have 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 eight are negative positive all over 4 and this is giving us 1 so clearly when y is 7 over 4 x is negative 17 over 16 and then when y is negative 1 x is equal to positive 1 that is very very easy mathematics is a spectator of sport you have to get a copy of the books that we are seeing on the screen. Get a copy for yourself and you would never, never regret. Now let's consider this example. Solve the simultaneous equations. That's 3x squared minus xy plus 2y squared equals 16. And then we have 2y minus x. And this is giving us 4. Now, so we have 3x squared minus xy plus 2 y square and we have this is equal to 16 let's say this is equation 1 and then 2y minus x equal to 4 equation 2 so let's use substitution method over here you can pause the video and then try the question on your own before you compare the answers now from 2 I want to make one variable the same so let me take this one here let me bring this one here so you get 2y minus 4 equal to x. Come here, go in there. Let's say this is 3. Now in this case, I had 3 from 2. So I'll not substitute into um, 2. So I'll rather substitute into 1. Now this implies we have, so you can say that that is put 3 into 1. So you have 3 x squared but what is my x 2y minus 4 all square minus xy what is our x 2y minus 4 uh, y plus 2y square equal to 16 i have to expand this so here this will give me that is a square minus 2ab 2ab plus b square plus b square now this one that would negative y times that's negative 2y square negative positive 
plus 4y plus 2y squared. This is equal to 16. Wow, well, that's very, very trivial. Clearly, this and that is cancelling out. Let's simplify here. So we have 3 outside. Now, 2y all square, that is 4y square. Or y square now this will give us 4 and then times 4 16 so minus 16 y plus 16 4 square does that this canceling this uh, plus 4y equal to 16 now let's expand using the distributive property this will give us 12 y square minus 48 y three times that Three times this plus 48 plus 40y, this is equal to 16. We are getting quadratic equation. So let's see, we have 12y squared. Now, minus 48y plus 4y. Negative 48y, positive 4y. Plus 4y, this come here, minus 16. That is equal to 0. So we have 12y squared. Now this and this is giving us negative 44y. And then 48 minus 16. And this is giving us 32. And this is just equal to 0. Can we divide through by uh, a value? Yes, 4 is a common factor. So this by 4. 44y over 4, 32 over 4, and this is just equal to 0 over 4. We are dividing each of them over 4. So this is going to be 1, this will be a 3, 1, 11, 1, 8. So you have 3y squared minus 11y plus 8 equal to 0. Now let's see. Um, 3 times 8, and this is giving us, that is 24. 2 numbers when you multiply, you get 24. When you add, you get negative 11. Clearly, the factors are negative 3y minus 8y plus 8 equal to 0. Factorize 3y out. What do you have? y minus 1, 8. You have y minus 1 equal to 0. Factorization. So you have y minus 1. 3y minus 8, this is just equal to 0. So from here we use the null factor principle. y minus 1 equal to 0 or 3 minus 8 equal to 0. y equal to 1 or clearly y is equal to 8 over 3. So these are the values of y. We need to find the values, the corresponding values of x. But what do we know? We know that um, x is equal to 2y minus 4. That's what we know. So when, when y is 1, x is equal to 2y minus this, and it's giving us negative 2. 2 minus 4, that's negative 2. And then when y is equal to 8 over 3, uh, x is 2, what is our y? 8 over 3 minus 4. And this is just the same as that is 16 over 3 minus 4. What's the LCM? LCM is 3. 3 going to 3, 1. So here we have um, 16. We know this is 1, 1 will go into 3, 3 times. So minus 12, 3 times 4, 12. And we have 4 over 3. So the values. Uh, when x is um, 1, when y is 1, x is negative 2. And then when y is 8 over 3, x is 4 over 3. Very, very easy. Very, very trivial. Call the numbers right now for a copy of the books that we are seeing on the screen. We've attached video tutorials to all of them. Call the numbers right now and you will never, never regret Now let's consider this example. Post the video, try the questions, and then later you compare the answers as you are preparing for exams. No pain, no gain. Mathematics is a spectator sport. You have to solve questions for you to get it very well. Now, 
solve the simultaneous equations 5x plus 3y equal to 2, 2 over x minus 3 over y, this is equal to 1. So we have 5x plus 3y equal to 2. Let's say this is our equation 1. 2 over x minus 3 over y, this is equal to 1. What is the LCM? The LCM is xy. So clearly, xy times 2 over x minus xy times 3 over y, 1 times xy. Now, this is cancelling out that, y is cancelling out that. So what do you have? 2y minus 3x equal to xy. Let's see, this is equation 2. Now, let's make one variable, the subject from 1. Let's make x the subject from 1. So, from 1, we have 5x equal to 2 minus 3y. That's going there. Clearly, making x the subject, that's 2 minus 3y over 5. Let's see, this is equation 3. What do we do? We put or we substitute 3 into 2. Into, no, yes, into 2, because the 3 is from 1, so into 2. So wherever we see x into, we put 2 minus 3y. So 2 minus 3y over 5, 2 minus 3y over 5. So this will give us, that is 2y minus 3. 3x, what is our x? Our x is basically 2 minus 3y over 5. And then this is um, equal to xy what is our x our x is basically 2 minus 3y over 5 it's xy xy what is our y so clearly we have our y over there now from here what is our lcm lcm is 5 so 5 times 2y 5 times 3 what do you have um, 2 minus 3y over 5 then you have 5 times you have 2 minus 3y over 5 times our y. This is cancelling that. This is cancelling that. This time this. That is 3y. This time this. Okay, you let's wait. We have 2 minus 3y. So important. Now let's bring the y here. So we have y 2 minus 3y. Now let's expand using the distributive property. So minus 6. This time this. This time this. That's negative 6. Negative and negative. That's positive 3 times 2. 9y. And this is equal to 2y minus 3y squared. This time this. This time that. We have that. Now, what is 10 plus 9y? We have 19y minus 6. We have 2y minus 3y squared. We have a quadratic equation. Let's put it in standard form. So let's bring everything here. So we have 3 y squared plus 19y positive coming to the left hand side that will be 2y minus 6 and this is just equal to 0 so what do you have 3y squared plus 17y 19y minus 2y 17y minus 6 this is equal to 0 now what do we do coefficient of the y squared is 3 so 3 times negative 6 that's negative 18 two notes in the month we get negative 18 when you add we are going to get um 17 clearly the factors are 3y squared 18y minus y minus 6 equal to 0 factorize 3y out what do you have y plus 6 minus 1y plus 6 equal to 0 factorization foundational topics in elective mass y plus 6, y plus is common. Let's factorize y plus 6 out. So you have y plus 6 out. Now, what is left? You have 3y minus 1. And this is just equal to 0. Let's use the null factor principle here. So you have y plus 6 equal to 0. Or 3y minus 1. This is just equal to 0. So y is equal to negative 6. Or y is just 1 over Three, we want to find the corresponding values of x. But then, what do we know? But we had x to be equal to 2 minus 3y all over 5. Where? That is from here. x is 
equal to this. So we have to find. Now, when y is negative 6, what is x? Clearly, our x is equal to 2 minus 3y. We have negative 6 and then over 5. Now, this is the same as 2 plus 18. Negative times negative, positive 3 times 6, 18. We have 5. We have 20 over 5. And what do we have? We have 4. So when x, when y is negative 6, we have x to be 4. Very easy, very trivial. Now, when y, when y is 1 over 3, what is x equal to? 2 minus 3, we have 1 over 3 all over 5. Now, this is cancelling out this. What do you have? 2 minus 1 over 5. And this is 1 over 5. So when y is 1 over 3, x is 1 over 5. When y is negative 6, x is 4. So, so easy. Very, very interesting. Call the numbers right now for a copy of these books. We have attached video tutorials to all the books that you are seeing on the screen. Each topic, we have at least 3 to 4 hours of tutorials on each topic. Now let's consider this example. Pause the video and then solve it. After that you compare the answer with what I will get. Now let's see the first one we have. That is x over 3 minus y over 2 equal to 1. What is the LCM? The LCM is 6. So clearly what do you have? 6 times x over 3, 6 times y over 2, and then you have 6 times 1, 3 where 1, 3 where 2, 2 where 1, 2 where 3 times. So you have 2x minus 3y equal to 6. Let's see. This is equation 1. Let's see the other one. 3 over x plus 2 over y equal to 3 over 2. What's the LCM? The LCM is that is um, 2xy. So, we have 2xy times 3 over x. Then plus 2xy times 2 over y. Equal to 3 over 2, or that is 2xy times 3 over 2. Now, what can we see? x is cancelling out here. y is cancelling out here. And then this 2 is cancelling out that 2. So what do you have? That is 6y. 2y times 3, 6y. Then 2x, we have 2, so that is 4x. Equal to this cancelling that as we have 3xy. Let's see. This is equation 2. So that's equation 1. We have our equation 2 over here. What do we do? We make one variable the subject, we substitute into the other one. So from 1, let's make x the subject. From 1. Let's make x the subject. So we have 2x is equal to 6 plus 3y. Negative crossing becoming positive. Clearly, x is 6 plus 3y all over 2. Let's say this is equation 3. Now, let's put or let's substitute 3 into, that is 2, into 2. So we have 6y plus 4x. What is our x? 6 plus 3y over 2 equal to 3x. That is 6 plus 3y over 2. And then we have our y over here. What can we see? This is where 1. This is where 2 times. So clearly, we have 6y plus 4. 6 plus 3y. Now this is where 1, 2. So this is 2. This is 2. Equal to 3y. 6 plus 3y. All over 2. Y came here. So you have that. The LCM is 2. So let's multiply 2 with 2. 2 times 6y. 2 times 2. We have 6 plus 3y. 2 times 3y. 6 plus 3y over to this we cancel that now this will give us that is 12y 2 times 4 2 times 2 that's 4 4 times 6 that is 24 4 times 3 we have 12y 
and this is just equal to 3y times 6, 18y. 3y times 3y, that is 9y squared. Now, what are we getting? We are getting a quadratic equation, but then let's simplify it 12y plus 12y. So that is 24 plus 24y. And then we have, that is 18y plus 9y squared. Let's bring everything here. So we have 9y squared plus 18y minus 24y. This is moving there. And then minus, this is moving here, so minus 24. And this is just equal to zero. So what do you have? You have 9 y square now 18 y minus 24 y that is negative 6 y minus 24 and this is zero we can divide through by three so when i divide nine that's nine y square over three minus six y over three 24 over three zero over three this is giving us three y square minus two y minus eight equal to zero two numbers three times um that is um, negative, that's negative 24 when you add, you get negative 2, clear the factors are negative 6 and positive 4. So you have 3y squared minus, um, that is 6y plus 4y minus 8, we have 0. Clearly what is common, 3y is common, y minus 2 plus 4, y minus 2 equal to zero so y minus two we have three y plus four and this is equal to zero so we have y minus two equal to zero or three y plus four equal to zero y is equal to two or y is equal to negative four over three we want to find x now what is x we know that but our x is equal to six plus three y all over 2. That's the x that we had over here. So when y is 2, when y is 2, when y is 2, what is our x? x equal to 6 plus 3, we have 2 all over 2. This will give us 6, 12. So we have 12 all over 2. And this is just equal to 6. And then when y is negative 4, over 3, what is our x? That's 6 plus 3y. Negative 4 over 3, all over 2. This will cancel this. So you have 6 minus 4 over 2. 2 over 2, and this is just equal to 1. Wow, that's a nice question. Very, very easy. Call the numbers right now for a copy of this wonderful book. Now let's consider this example. Solve the simultaneous equations. So the first one we have two x plus three y. Code six. This is equation one. Two x plus one square six. We have y minus two square equal to forty nine. Now you can pause the video, solve the questions, and then you compare your final answer with what um, I'll get. Now let's see. We can still simplify this. This is of the form a plus b all square. a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b all square. a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here, that is a square plus 2ab. And then plus b square, 6. Now let's see a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to 49. Now what are we getting here? 4x square plus 4x plus 1. We have 6. Let's simplify the bracket. y square minus 4y plus 4. We have 49. We have 4x square plus 4x plus 1. Let's expand using the distributive property. 6y square minus 24y plus 24 equal to 49. Now 1 plus um, 24, that's 25. So we have 4x square plus 4x 
plus 6y squared minus 24y plus 25.49. Now this will go here. So you have 4x squared plus 4x plus 6y squared minus 24y. And then we have 49 minus 25. And this will give us so you have 4x squared plus 4x plus 6y squared minus 24y and we have 24 now so let's say this is a uh, equation 2 now we can make x the subject from equation 1 so clearly from 1 from equation 1 we want to make x the subject so what do you have 2x equal to 6 minus 3y 6 minus 3y. I want to make x the subject. s equal to 6 minus 3y all over 2. Let's see, this is equation 3. So what do we do? We put 3 into 2. 3 into 2. Put 3 into 2. So wherever we see x, we put 6 minus 3y over 2 over there. So here we have 4x squared. 6 minus 3y over 2 all square plus 4x plus or you have 6y square minus 24y equal to 24 now if we have a over b all to the power n a and b n so clearly this is of the form 4 this will be 6 minus 3y square 2 square that will be 4 2 square that's 4 plus 4 um, that's 4 x 4 x but then what is our x we know this is our x we should have substituted so 4 x that is 6 minus 3 y over 2 so 6 minus 3 y over 2 plus 6 y square minus 24 y equal to 24 what can we see this is cancelling out that this gray one is gray two. So you have six minus three y square plus two six minus three y plus six y square minus twenty-four y equal to twenty-four. Now let's expand this a minus b or square. A minus b or square. So clearly this becomes a square, so we have six square minus 2ab ab plus b square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square now this expanding this that will be 12 minus 6y plus 6y square minus 24y equal to 24 now this is giving us that is 36 2 6 12 12, 3, that is 36 um, y. Then plus 9y square plus 12 minus 6y. 6y square minus 24y equal to 24. And let's see 36 plus 12, and this is giving us that is 48. Now uh, negative 36, and then this negative 30, so that will be negative 66y. Let's see the squares. 9y squared plus 6y squared, that is 15y squared. And this is just equal to 24. What are we getting? We are getting the quadratic equation. So we have 15y squared minus 66y plus 48 minus 24 equals 0. This is coming here, giving us that. Now we have 15y squared minus 66y. And this is plus 24 equals 0. 48 minus 24. That is 24. What is common? 3 is a common factor. So let's divide by 3. Now 3 will go into 15 5 times. 3 will go into this. And that's 22 and then 8 equals 0. So that's a quadratic equation. 
5 times 8, that is 40. So 2 numbers on the motor, you get 40. When you add, you get negative 22. What are they? Clearly, that is, um, so 40, that's negative 20, and then negative 2. So 5y squared minus 20y minus 2y plus 8. And this is equal to 0. Factorize 5y out, you have y minus 4. Minus 2, you have y minus 4. And this is just equal to 0. Y minus 4, y minus 4, come on, let's factorize it out. Y minus 4, what do you have here? 5y minus 2, this is equal to 0. So y minus 4 equal to 0, or 5y minus 2 equal to 0. I want to find y. Clearly, y is equal to 4, or y equal to, that is 2 over 5. 2 over 5, working for this, this green here. So, uh, y, 2 over 5. Now, we want to find x. Now, what is x from the beginning? What did you get for x? These are x. We had x to be equal to 6 minus 3y all over 2. So, when x is, when y, when y, when y is 4, what is x? x is 6. Minus 3, y, 4, all over 2. 6, 3, 4, that is 12, all over 2. Negative 6 over 2, and then we are getting negative 3. And then when y is equal to 2 over 5, what is our x? x is equal to 6 minus 3. What is y? 2 over 5. And this is over 2. Now what do you do? You can punch this on the calculator, 12 over 5. Wow, very easy, very, very trivial. Don't forget to call the numbers that you are seeing on the screen now for a copy of the books that you are seeing. It will give you a very good foundation in math. Call the numbers and you will never, never regret. Now let's consider this example. Solve the equations x plus y equals 72. Then we have x to the power 1 over 3 plus y to the power 1 over 3 equal to 6. Post the video and try the question yourself. Later, um, you can then compare your final answer. Now, let's see. We have x plus y equal to 72. And then we also have x to the power 1 over 3 plus y to the power 1 over 3 equal to 6. So here, let's see. Let that is x to the power 1 over 3 should be equal to a. Now let's cube both sides. So when you cube both sides, what do you have? x to the power 1 over 3, or to the power 3, a to the power 3. This will cancel this. x is just equal to a to the power 3. And then what again? We can also say let um, y to the power 1 over 3 equal to b. So when you keep both sides, what are you going to get y to be equal to b to the power 3? That is cubing both sides. Cubing both sides. This is b. Now, we know x plus y equals 72. What is our x a cube? So you have a cube plus y. What is our y? b cube. And this is equal to 72. Two, and then we have x to the power over three plus y to the power over three equal to six. So let's say this is equation one. Now let's see the other one. Um, x to the power over three is a. So a plus b equal to six. Equation two. Now what do you do from two? Let's make one variable the subject is equal to six minus b. Let's call this 3. Now we put 3 into 1. We have 3 from 2, so we put it into 1. Clearly, this implies what is our e? 6 minus b. So we have 6 minus b all to the power 3 plus b to the power 3 equal to 72. Now we can rewrite this as that is 6 plus negative b. You can write it like this plus b to the power 3 equal to 72. Now let's use Pascal 
triangle to expand this. So when you expand this, what are you getting? That is 6 to the power 3 plus 3. What do you have? 6 square and then we have the b which is negative b um this is to the power one and then plus three six this reduce by one and then this we increase by one and then the last one negative b we have to the power three plus b to the power three equal to 72 pascal triangle to expand this now um six to the power three this is to one six then plus now this is negative so multiplying here that would be negative this is 36 36 times um three is giving us that is 108 b six squared 36 times three that is 108 the negative is making that now this will be positive you see b this square and you have negative so that will be positive 36 18 so you have 18 b square minus b cube because of the negative negative b cube plus b cube this is equal to 72 what can we see this and that is cancelling out we have a quadratic equation so we have 18 b square minus 108 b plus 216 minus 72 equal to zero we have a quadratic equation so what do you have 18 b square minus 1 8b plus 216 minus 72 and this is giving us 144 and this is equal to 0 clearly can we cancel out yes 18 can cancel out so you have 18 b square over 18 108 over 18 b plus 144 over 18 and this is just equal to 0 now this will cancel out that and then 18 we have one this is six times one and then i think this is eight times yeah so we have that is b square minus 6b plus 8 equal to zero wow so easy two numbers when you multiply you get it when you add you get negative six clearly negative two negative four so you have b square minus 4b minus 2b plus 8 equals 0 factorize b out we have b minus 4 2 out b minus 4 this equals 0 b minus 4 b minus 2 equal to 0 use the now factor principle b minus 4 equals 0 or b minus 2 equals 0 b is equal to 4 or b is equal to 2 Wow, that's it. Very, very easy. So that is B. So clearly, what do you know? What is A? A is 6 minus B. So when B is 4, what is our A? 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4. Mm, 6 minus B. B is 4, so A is 6 minus B. So we are getting 2. And then when B is also 2. A is 6 minus 2 and this is just 4 but what do you know you know that a is equal to x to the power 1 over 3 and then we had x to be equal to a to the power 3 so when a is 2 when a is 2 what is x x is that is 2 to the power 3 and this is giving us um, 8 and then when a is 4 when a is 4 what are you getting for x x will be 4 to the power 3 and this is just 64 and then also we're given that uh, y to the power 1 over 3 we said this should be equal to b so we had our y to be equal to b to the power 3 so when b is 2 y is 2 to the power 3 and this is just giving us 8 and when b is 4 we have y to be equal to 4 to the power 3 and then we have 64 wow such a nice question no pain no gain mathematics or spectator sports get a copy of the books they are seeing on the screen contains a lot of 
examples, questions for you to answer. And if you're able to do that, it becomes very, very easy for you. Exam becomes very easy for you. Call the numbers now for a copy of the books you are seeing.